What is wrong with my azaleas? They don't grow. <laughs> the leaves look weak. I fertilize them, but they just look anemic. And this is from Mr. Joe. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that one? Well, Joe, there's <laughs> several things that could be going on there with your azaleas. We'll just start at the beginning. Start at the beginning. They may be planted too deeply if they're right. newly, you know, a new um, planting. Right. So because they're shallow rooted. They are. For the most part. And they like good drainage. Mm -hmm. They don't like to be in really wet sites. So making sure that the crown of the plant, you know, is above the ground level there would be important, I All would right. think, for me. Ah, right, that's good. That's um, good. Also, it, the location. If they're in a sunny location, um, it's going to be more conducive for them to attract a bug called the azalea lace bug. Right. And um, it can kind of cause them to have a silvery kind of appearance mm -hmm. from far away. When you get up close, there's stifling. And so that can be an issue if they're in a sunny location. So make sure they're getting enough shade. I'm sure you probably have some things to add. Yeah, those are good. I think you just about covered it. But I've seen a lot in the landscape here in Shelby County, azaleas in the wrong conditions. Mm. Uh, the afternoon sun here is just too hot for your azaleas. They need to be in the shade. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, if they're going to be out in the sun, they're going to be stressed out. Yep. If they're stressed out, then guess what? Here comes the azalea lace bug, like you mentioned. Again, bug named after a plant. Yeah. So here we go with that again. <laughs> azalea, azalea lace bugs. Uh, so you have to be careful with that, Mr. Joe. And, um, hey, make sure you go out and inspect. Fertility, again, may be an issue. pH, whatever. Mm -hmm. Come by the... You know, extension office, you know. They like acidic soils. Like acidic so. soils. You can test your soils. Come by and let us give you a soil kit so you can get that done. Um, but I think if you do all of that, then you'll be just fine.